Hello and welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'll walk you through a complete step-by-step -step guide for transferring your family tree data from Family Tree Maker to Gramps. Whether you're switching software or want a backup of your genealogy research in an open source format, this video will help you do the job smoothly. So let's get started. First, we'll export your family tree from Family Tree Maker. Step 1. Open your tree in Family Tree Maker. Then, click Export to the File menu at the top left. In the Export window, choose Entire File to include all individuals and relationships. Next, under the Output Format, select GEDCOM 5.5 or GEDCOM 5.5.1. These formats are fully compatible with Gramps. When asked about character encoding, choose UTF-8. This ensures that special characters like accents and symbols are displayed correctly in Gramps. Now, save the exported file with a recognizable name, something like myfamilytree.ged, and choose a location on your computer that you can easily find later, like your desktop or documents folder. Click OK, and the GEDCOM file will be created. Let's talk about media files, your photos, documents, and other attachments. Family Tree Maker doesn't automatically include media in the GEDCOM file, so you must copy those manually. Here's how. Navigate to your Family Tree Maker folder, usually found inside your Documents folder under Family Tree Maker. Find the folder that matches your tree's name. Inside, you'll see a media folder. Copy that entire media folder and keep it in the exact location as your GEDCOM file. This will make it easier to relink media files once you import your tree into Gramps. Now, let's switch over to Gramps. Open Gramps on your computer. If you don't have it, you can download it free from gramps-project.org. Once Gramps is open, go to File, then click on New to create a new family tree file. Give your tree a name and click OK. Now go back to the File menu and select Import. Find the GEDCOM file you exported from Family Tree Maker, select it, and click Open. Gramps will now begin importing your data. Depending on the size of your tree, this may take a few seconds or longer. You'll see all your people, relationships, and events inside Gramps when it's done. After the import, take some time to review your tree. Check if the names, dates, relationships, and sources look correct. If you copied your media files earlier, you may need to manually reling them inside Gramps. To do so, go to the Media section, find the missing items, and update their file paths. Also, be aware that some notes, formatting, or custom facts from Family Tree Maker may not transfer perfectly due to the limitations of the GEDCOM format. Take your time to explore and tidy things up in Gramps as needed. And that's it. You've successfully transferred your Family Tree data from Family Tree Maker to Gramps. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more genealogy tips, software tutorials, and family history content. Do you have questions or need help with a specific issue? Please comment below, we're happy to help. Thanks for watching and happy tree tracing.